Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about types of network interface card. So let's begin our session. Now let's see the types of NIC. Based on the presence of NIC on the motherboard, we can divide NIC in two parts, internal NIC or external NIC. Let's see internal NIC. So NIC is present on the motherboard itself. So motherboard will have the slot and we insert the NIC into that slot or motherboard can have inbuilt NIC. As I, already, as I mentioned here also, NIC slot is present on the motherboard. User can buy NIC separately and insert the NIC in the slot. Both type of NIC available Wi-Fi or wired. Second is the motherboard already has inbuilt NIC, so no need to buy NIC separately. It also comes with both Wi-Fi or wired connection. It is also for possible more than one NIC present on the motherboard. So basically internal is the NIC in which your NIC card is present on the motherboard, either coming as inbuilt or you are inserting in the NIC or you are inserting in the slot present on the motherboard. Second is the external NIC. NIC is not present on the motherboard. We have plug and play type NIC which are known as USB NIC. It is available with Wi-Fi or wired configuration. So in case motherboard do not have any NIC then user can use this NIC. So user don't have to install this NIC on the motherboard. User can just connect to the USB port and and you can communicate with the network or any other computer. So this is the external NIC. Suppose uh, your desktop or any computer don't have the NIC slot, then you can use this NIC. Based on the type of connection, like uh, if NIC is providing the Ethernet connection or wireless connection or through the USB, then we can divide it in three parts. Ethernet card, wireless card, USB card. Ethernet card as I already shown to you, you can see this. So basically in Ethernet card, you have the Ethernet port. In that Ethernet port, the Ethernet cable is connected. So one end of one end of the Ethernet cable is connected to the Ethernet port, another to the Ethernet port of the other computer or other device, router or modem. Wi-Fi NIC. So the Wi-Fi NIC looks like this. So in Wi-Fi, you don't have to use the cable. You can use the Wi-Fi connection. So this Wi-Fi connection use the radio waves to connect to one computer to another or one computer to network. USB NIC, as I already explained, it is a plug and play NIC. So you you just have to connect to the USB port and it will be it will work as a NIC. So just one more thing I also want to highlight is connection to the motherboard is made using any one of the following. So as you can see in the screenshot there is a PCI connector I have mentioned. So this is the connector which is used to connect to the motherboard. There are different types of connector available. I have mentioned here PCI connector, ISA connector, PCIe connector, firewire connector, USB or Thunderbolt. So there are different type of connector available through which you can connect to the motherboard. For the understanding purpose, I am also showing here how you can connect one computer to another. So computer to computer communication using Ethernet port. You can see the screenshot. So suppose you have two desktop here. So how you can connect on the CPU, you will have Ethernet port. So you can use the Ethernet cable to connect to both the computer. This Ethernet cable carry the basically electrical signal pulse. Ethernet communication to internet. This is your laptop and suppose you have internet service provider connection at home. So internet service provider provide you the modem or router. So how you can connect to that modem or router? Either the Ethernet port here. You can see you can connect one end of the Ethernet cable to your laptop and another to the router or modem. Or you can also 
use the Wi-Fi if your modem or router is Wi-Fi. So this is how you can connect to your to the internet. Wi-Fi Wi-Fi communication to internet. I already explained in the previous slide. So this is how if internet service provider has given you the Wi-Fi router, then you can use the Wi-Fi connection to connect to the laptop there. So you switch on the Wi-Fi on your computer and Wi-Fi router is also switched on and you can use the Wi-Fi connection there. So this is our different ways you can connect to the other computer or other device like router, modem, switch. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.